What's going on guys, Faze Zuma here bringing you another YouTube video and today I'm just gonna answer a few questions for you guys. Thought I would do a Q&A video, um, currently at my girlfriend's house and she's at school so I have really nothing else to do. So I posted on Twitter, asked people to ask me a few questions and I thought I would answer a few questions for you guys. If I look kinda tired, it's cause I am. I didn't really sleep much but um, I woke up kinda early. It's, I mean it's late now, it's 12.20 now but uh, I went to bed at like 5am for some reason. I don't know, I just couldn't sleep but... Uh, yeah, sorry if I look like ass is what I'm trying to tell you before we start the video I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm, I'm currently in Mel's room right now I'm kind of just laying down. I thought it'd be cool to like lay down keep it casual Um, and just kind of answer some questions for you guys just ask Twitter to answer uh, to ask me a few questions And I'm gonna answer some of them. I'm just gonna lay down relax Answer some questions talk to you guys and hopefully you get to know a little bit more about me and uh, hopefully I answer your question so let's get started. All right, first question is from Dark Visionary. He said, how long do you think you're gonna keep playing competitive COD for? Um, This is a tough question because you don't really know how long your career is gonna be. I just wanna go as long as possible. You know, if I'm feeling healthy, if I'm playing well, um, I just wanna make sure I can go as long as possible. I mean, there's people who are, who are playing competitive esports at like, what, age 27, 28? I mean, these people that are, that are going to at least like high mid 20s so I don't know I hope to go to at least like 26 27 maybe at least around there like I just want to have a long career and a good career so that would definitely be my goal is just to have a long good career and to win some more championships it's definitely a goal of mine I'm Alves asked do you like the McChicken and react to the McChicken video okay I saw the McChicken video and for those of you who don't know what it is I don't even know if I should tell you because it's kind of gross but a guy basically beats his dick with a with a with a McChicken bro like the guy's going hard as hell with a McChicken in his hand beating himself it's so weird man I was watching it I did see it it was all over Twitter man and it was the worst thing I've ever watched and do I like McChickens yes but now every time I eat McChicken I think about the video and it's disgusting man I don't know how people do that but yeah there's your answer Hexnext12 asked who would win in a 1v1 you or censor me period tell censor I'm coming for him tell him tell him next question is from AJ Martin 13 he says how does it feel to live away from your family in Italy so most of my family is here in America but um, that's like my immediate family but I do have a lot of family in Italy um, like cousins and stuff and great-grandparents and stuff like that but um, you know I don't see them much um, I haven't been to Italy in a while. I should probably go back when I was a, when I was younger. I used to go all the time. My brother goes every summer. Um, me and my mom haven't been there in a while, so we should probably definitely go visit some family. Uh, right now, my dad is there, so I definitely want to go to Italy and uh, visit my dad because um, it's been quite a while. The only time I really see my dad is when we go overseas um, to like a Gfinity event or something like that. If any event in Europe, my dad usually comes. So. Um, you know, it's been a while since I saw him, so seeing my dad would be amazing. Um, next question is from Saul H24. He said, "Where do you see yourself in five years?" Um, in five years, I'll be uh, 25 years old, like 25, 26 years old. So I'm hoping I'm still playing competitive COD. Uh, I do want to go back to school, maybe finish school up, uh, but I don't want to go back to school full time because going back to school full time. And doing gaming is really hard. I also want to grow my YouTube channel. Um, so in five years, I hope I'm, I'm big enough on YouTube where I'm just like, you know, I put a lot of work in and that I could just grow my YouTube and just do YouTube full time. But, you know, that's hard, man. You got to grind for that. You got to work hard for that. So I know it's not going to be easy and I'm going to try and put in the work. So hopefully in five years, I'm big enough on YouTube. And um, I got school done, so I definitely want to get school done, and I definitely want to grow my YouTube channel and keep playing COD competitively. Obviously, I want to keep doing that. Next question is from Drop It On Bieber. She said, "If you can go back to any event that happened, what event and why?" Definitely COD Champs this year. I definitely would love to go back to COD Champs. First of all, the first day we were on fire. We were 12 and 0 map count. We had the hardest pool. Um, we didn't chop a map in our pool. And then we lose to Envy, and we got smacked by Envy. And we've played Envy before online and at the event before. And the event before, we barely lost to them. And then online, you know, we'd always go back and forth with them. So just to get smacked by them, like, they were just on another level that day. And they just kind of caught us on a bad day. And yes, Envy was probably the better team going into it. But I just thought we could have a better performance than that. 
And not just that, when we got to Splice, um, I definitely thought we should have beaten Splice. We crushed him in the hard point, crushed him in the uplink, and just couldn't steal away an SD or the CTF. Um, I definitely think if we just went back in time and played that, we could definitely have stolen an SD. Um, I think we just played like a little bit nervous in SD, and that can't happen in SD. You have to play with confidence, you have to get map control, and that's something we didn't do. So, man, if I can go back in time to champs, that would be amazing. Complexion asked, if you could pick anywhere in the world to have an event, where would it be? And who would you team with? Well, I want to team with the team I have right now, obviously. And anywhere in the world, and like, you guys are going to be like, what? But like, New York. That's where I want to have an event. I want to have an event in New York. There's, the time that I've been playing competitively, there has never been an event in New York. And I, I live in Jersey, obviously, so I can just drive to New York. But New York is such an amazing city, or it's such a beautiful state, and I wish we would just come here for at least one especially since the MLG studios are here in New York uh, you would think they would do more here uh, I don't know why they don't do it maybe it's too expensive or something like that but doing an event here in New York would be amazing it'd be so dope so hopefully uh, that happens one day next question is from the proxy and he asked when are you moving into the phase pro team house okay so the phase pro team house I'm not gonna actually just go there bring all my stuff and just live there like I'm not gonna do that I have like family friends girlfriend all here I can't just give that all up um it's hard to just pick up and leave um I'm gonna kind of do what formal is doing right now with the optic house where he just kind of goes when he needs to so if there's a big event coming up and I need to be with the team and we need to learn over stuff I'll probably go there for like a few weeks before the event but as far as living there, I just don't want to live there. I, obviously, I don't want to just leave family and friends and all that stuff. So, I won't be living there, but you'll definitely see me there a lot. So, Dominus EU asked, how did I first get into the competitive scene? Um, I mentioned that in the How I Went Pro video, but basically I was um, going to college to play soccer and I ended up getting hurt pretty badly. I tore my ACL and just sitting home all the time doing nothing. I was playing COD all the time and when I heard out about um, competitive COD or competitive gaming, I went to a local event that came near me, UMG Philadelphia, and just made a name for myself. I ended up doing pretty well, played with some S&D stars, and got picked up by a, a few pro players. And then after I got picked up by a few pro players, we won our first event as a as a professional team. Uh, it was me, Saints, Replays, and Study. So that was um, pretty amazing. That was like one of the best moments of my life, winning an event like that, because I came from nothing. Like, yeah, And everybody talked a lot of smack about me, too. Saying I was a warrior and that like when I came to land I would get nervous so just the fact that I came proved everyone wrong made a good name for myself it just felt amazing definitely one of the best moments of my COD career for sure. Uh oh strikes asked what is your least favorite part about being a pro gamer? All right I would probably say just like before events the grind time like putting in so many hours trying to learn the game um it's just stressful man like people don't realize how stressful playing a video game and it sounds weird. Um, because it's a video game and, pe and people work in offices and stuff and say like that's harder and you know that's more stress but it is really stressful when you're at the highest level playing against um, some of the best teams in the world because you never know what can happen and you want to win because you want to make money and in order to make money you need to put in the time you need to win so definitely stressful Kazdoff asked what are your plans for the future and I think I already answered this but I answered it again because it's Kazdoff and he's a homie um, I just basically want to grow my YouTube Keep playing competitive COD as much as I can, uh, and just keep doing big things, you know? Don't want to do big things, Kazdoff, all right? That's what I want to do. I'm aiming big, baby. Big. Clayster asked, will you please come to Austin soon? Sounds like, sounds like Clay Bay misses me a little bit, you know? And, you know, when you're away from me sometimes, that's how, how it's going to be. You know, Clay's going to miss me a little bit, and, you know, I miss him too. But Clay, I'll be in Austin soon, man. Don't worry, okay? I'll be there soon. JB Dangles asked, would you brush my fur? Dangles, I will 100% brush you down, man. I know that sounded weird to some of you guys. Dangles is a good friend of mine, so I thought I'd put that in the video. King Charisma asked, how was it to explain to your parents about gaming and what did they think? Okay, so explaining to my parents about gaming was kind of hard, especially with my mom. My dad didn't really care too much. My brother... He, my brother was just being my brother. He was like, yeah, go play whatever you gotta do. And then my mom was the hardest one. Um, just because, you know, she's my mom and she looks after me. And she cares about me. So when she hears her son talk about how she wants to play, want, I want to play video games and go across the world and, you know, do this and do that. She's like, no, no, no. Like, you're not doing that. It's a video game. You're going to school. Um, you're playing soccer. You know, you're doing your thing. 
Uh, but basically, I would just show her YouTube videos of like Anaheim and teams holding up the check and you know, the crowd. And then uh, when, a, when an event came local, I went, showed her some pictures, some stuff, um, showed her some people taking pictures with me. Because uh, people knew who I was because I was an S&D star. So it was just like an awesome experience. And I tried to share all those experiences with her. And then eventually she just fell in love with it. She started watching streams and stuff. I was like, all right, like, go ahead, mom. Watch some streams. She's on Twitch all the time. She watches more streams than I do. She's crazy. So basically, you just got to hype it up. You know, and, you know, you just got to, you got to, when you talk to your parents, tell them that you can like, you, you, I know you can't make millions, you can make millions, but it's hard to make millions. But just be like, yeah, mom, this team's playing for like $20 billion. Like, just exaggerate the, that's what I did. Red Chris asked, if you weren't playing professional college, what would you be doing? And I'd probably just be going to school. I'd be going to college, um, probably be playing soccer in college. Uh, if I didn't tear my ACL, I definitely would probably still be playing soccer. I probably wouldn't even be a pro gamer, because if I didn't tear my ACL, a lot of things would be different. Um, tearing my ACL got kind of got me into COD, so it's crazy how things work out. Scuff Gaming asked, in all esports, which pro player would you model your career after? Hashtag Zuma. Okay, well, I don't know much about other esports, so if I'd have to model myself as any player, it'd have to be someone in COD. And that's just so hard to do because I'm still playing with all these people. My career hasn't been very long. It's only been like a year and a half. So that's a really good question by Scuff, but it's so it's like I can't give it an answer because I'm doing my own thing and I'm doing my own career that it's hard to compare it to anybody else's right now. But like at the end of my career, um, I think this question would be a little bit easier. So I'll get back to you on that one, Scuff. Tumblr asked, are you and Miss Newfo moving in together um, sometime? And I mean, obviously we can't do that now because we're too young and we're kind of doing our own thing. Um, and it's still early in the relationship, but um, looking into the future, yeah, I can definitely see that. That'll be dope. But we're too young right now. You know, I can't leave Mama Zuma at home. Uh, definitely way too young. So definitely in the future, yeah. Pharaoh KC asked, "Do you have advice for small channels?" I'm a father just trying to make a footprint out here. Thanks, man. And um, it would just be the upload. I mean, there's nothing really more you could do than just upload, try and make entertaining uh, videos for people to watch. And then hopefully you get that one video that goes viral and uh, that just helps you grow. But, you know, you just got to work hard at it, grind at it. Um, yeah, I mean, my YouTube is not even huge, you know, like my YouTube's not even huge yet. So you, uh, you're asking kind of the wrong guy. But... Um, if you do grind and work hard, um, you definitely could definitely get big on YouTube. It's very hard to do though. YouTube is a hard, hard business. Like it's hard to get big on YouTube. For us, we have like the gaming thing going for us, but for other people, just random people who just want to get big, um, it's hard. Like it is really hard. So I feel for you, man, and good luck on getting your YouTube uh, bigger. Good luck to you, man. Jack Bale Simpson asked, which player do you have never teamed with? Would you, which player? Who you have? Oh, okay. Jack Bale Simpson asked, "Which player who you have never teamed with would you like to play with most?" Um, definitely Scump. Scump's a beast. He plays uh really aggressive. He slays good. Um, I would just love to run a sub alongside Scump. That would be so dope. So, definitely Sethy. Sethy is the number one answer for that. M3 God asked, "Uh, what will you guys do differently in IW to prevent inconsistent land placings?" playing more grinding more at the beginning of this game we were so lazy man like not like uh, as like as individuals we would all play the game but like as far as taking practice super seriously like really trying to fix our mistakes i mean going into champs we grinded a lot and we went 12 and 0 in the hardest pool and then we got knocked out by the two best teams there but like that was the first event where i actually felt confident going into this whole year that's the first event and uh, I think we just need to get our, sh or, you know, we need to get our shit together um, in the beginning of the game. We can't mess around. Like IW is gonna be no joke, man. Coming out with the fire, phase is gonna be a different team. Trust me. Who is your COD father? Asked by Young Fahad. My COD father is Replays, man. Replays picked me up, gave me a chance, taught me everything I know. He made me, he made me who I am, man. Shout out to Replays for being my COD father. Hi, Bridgewis asked you were really talked about in Advanced Warfare and now you're kind of quiet. When are you planning on talk taking to again? I don't know what he means by that, but I kind of know what he means by that. Probably like, why am I so quiet this year? 
And individually at Black Ops 3, I am a very good player. And not the sound conceit or anything, but I think I'm very good um, when it comes to just like gun skill and knowing the game and stuff like that. Um, I just think as a team, Black Ops 3 just wasn't our game. We didn't have that click uh, that we had. But like as far as like individual, that's probably why I wasn't talked about a lot. We weren't winning. We weren't at the top. Um, doesn't mean I'm, I'm a bad player. It's just advanced warfare. We were winning, so we were at the top. And I was playing really well, so... Um, I was considered one of the best players, but if I was winning in this game, you know, it'd be the same thing. I'd be talked about more. Plus, with Clay starting your team, man, Clay is always stealing the shine, man. All these casters always hyping up Clay. Hype up me for once, man. I just want some love. Clay's Clay. He's always bringing the hype and yelling at people and shit. You know, you know Clay. So, Clay attracts all the all the love on our team. So, Semptions asked, "Who is your favorite YouTuber?" Um, my favorite YouTuber is Casey Neistat. I love watching his videos. It's just like the edits that he does every single day in his vlogs are crazy. They're just like, it's like you're watching like a TV show. Like, I don't know. Just like his editing is amazing. His persona, like the energy he brings. I just love it. And I, I could watch his videos every single day. They're they're awesome. So, shout out to Casey Neistat. Last question I'm going to answer is free easy. And he says, how do you feel going into the IW competitive scene? And I feel amazing. I know what I'm capable of. I know what my team's capable of. Um, we just got to put in the work and we'll do fine. We have um, high caliber players. And we're going to be alright for IW. We're going to put in the work and we're going to do well. And uh, we're going to prove a lot of people wrong. And I can't wait to get that going. I can't wait for the new game to come out. can't wait for the new game to drop so I can grind, work hard. And it's going to be dope. So stay tuned. FaZe, FaZe is going to do big things. will be the end of the video, guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, it's really weird because I'm in my girlfriend's house, her dad's working, her cousins are downstairs, so I'm kind of just in her room just doing a Q&A video, just lying down on her bed. So, um, if, like, the lighting and, like, the area seemed to work for you guys, but I just thought it'd be cool to do, like, a relaxing, kind of casual, just me laying down and talking to you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, uh, many more videos to come, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.